Did you know that there's actually some meats that might be better than others when it comes down to breaking a fast? It's not just the macronutrients that we pay attention to. It's not just how much protein or how many carbohydrates or how many grams of fat. We have to look at the bigger picture. You see, when you're fasting, you have different deficiencies that come to be. Now that means you need to take care of those deficiencies, otherwise it can result in some other issues later on down the line. Now what I'm about to describe is actually a very, very complex, deep topic, but I'm gonna generalize it so that you get the best out of this and can just determine what you want to use to break your fast. As always, I encourage you to test the different theories that I have, test the different research that I bring about, and see what works best for you because I try to put it all out there. I do ask that you please hit that red subscribe button if you don't mind. We've got new videos coming out just about every single day. And then I also ask that you hit that little bell icon so you can turn on notifications. You get a little ding on your phone every time I post a daily educational video. After this video, go ahead and check out Thrive Market down below in the description. They're a huge supporter and sponsor of this channel. They're an online membership-based grocery store. So basically, you can get pantry goods and things that you would get at the grocery store, but get them delivered right to your doorstep. And a lot of foods that I would recommend in given bundles, like my keto bundle, my fasting bundle, stuff like that. So I highly recommend you check them out. And thank you, thank you, Thrive market for keeping this channel rocking. So what we're talking about today is thiamine. Some call it thiamine, but thiamine is something that is involved in a lot of different enzymatic processes within the body, but namely glucose metabolism and fat metabolism. So what this means is that whenever we're consuming carbohydrates or consuming protein that go through uh, gluconeogenesis or consuming fats, our body takes this thiamine and it utilizes it to actually help break it down and just turn it into fuel. Okay, well what happens is during a fast, we do tend to deplete a little bit of our thiamine stores, but more importantly, what happens after a fast is our body exercises all of the thiamine that it has in reserve in order to metabolize what we just took in, especially in the way of carbohydrates. Okay, so carbohydrates require a lot of thiamine to be processed, okay? So if we break our fast and we consume carbohydrates, we're gonna deplete our thiamine stores rather quickly. Now, what does this mean though? I mean, who cares? It's just thiamine. Well, it can disrupt the overall metabolic chain down the line in terms of how that glucose gets used. So what happens is you end up not having enough thiamine to help out what are called glycolytic enzymes. Okay, these enzymes are what are involved in taking glucose and breaking it down further and storing it as glycogen. So imagine this for a second, just to paint a picture. You were fasting. You broke a fast, you had some carbohydrates, or maybe you didn't but you depleted your thiamine levels. So that means that the carbohydrates that you did consume got kind of you know, utilized a little bit, but then rather than getting stored in your muscles where they should, they ended up just kind of floating through the bloodstream and going through a different metabolic process. So the point is we want to have the glucose used properly. We want it to go into the muscle and store as glycogen because that means that we're gonna have fuel for another day. Muscle glycogen is good. Pure elevated glucose, not good. So to expand further with what's going on is once your thiamine is depleted, your body doesn't have the ability to really utilize those carbohydrates, that glucose, as glycogen. So it goes through what is called anaerobic glucose metabolism, which generates lactic acid as a byproduct and is a relatively inefficient, somewhat byproduct heavy process. This can change your overall blood pH and it can make you feel a little bit wonky. So I know you're probably wondering, okay, well, what meats do I really wanna focus on? Well, you wanna be focusing on meats that are lean and focus on meats that are high in phosphorus because it does help this osmolarity issue. That's another story for another day. But then it also, we wanna have meats that have high thiamine levels. So this means lean pork is really, really good. Also because lean pork has a higher amount of polyunsaturated fat, it is relatively easy to break down. Okay. We want lean chicken. And then lastly, we would want lean turkey. Okay, lean turkey is not quite as good because generally we're gonna find a lot of antibiotics and things like that in it. Now, if you can, get your hands on really lean sockeye salmon. That's probably one of the best ones that you can have. But again, we wanna keep the fats relatively low. So make sure you're not getting like an Atlantic salmon or a Keta salmon, which is gonna be much higher in fat. I will say this kind of goes against the grain of what we normally talk about because salmon is usually, we want it to be high fat. We want those omega-3s, but not right when we break a fast when we don't have the digestive enzymes to truly support that. So a sockeye salmon that is deep in red color is going to be a really, really good fat or a really good protein rather to break a fast with. Next up, pork, 
but not everyone eats pork. And then we have chicken, and then we have turkey. Okay, we could go on down the line. Beef, I would recommend having your second meal after you break a fast. The thiamine levels aren't all that high, and generally speaking, it's a higher saturated fat content, which is much harder to break down right at the end of a fast. So ideally, lean protein coming from fish or coming from white meat, I think you're gonna be in a much better situation. I know this is a long-winded way of explaining that, but that way we're getting the full, well-rounded aspect that we need to properly break a fast. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.